Hey, hey, Fit Fam, how's it going? Coach Paul here, coming, coming back at you guys with a trainer tip Tuesday. All right, y'all. So for today's this topic and discussion, just really short and sweet and simple. But I want to talk about dehydration. All right, fam. All right. So some of the key notes I want you to keep in mind. I just had to write down what I want to say before I go into a big old rant, huh? All right. So first things first. All right, fam. Whenever that we are dehydrated, fam, you got to keep in mind dehydration levels can lead to a reduction in blood volume, meaning the amount of blood that's going around your body, making your heart work harder to circulate this blood all the way through your veins and stuff or whatnot. Not only that, but when it does that and increase your heart rate, it can affect your ability to perform any type of cardio weightlifting aspect, right? Specifically, that cardio, all right? Now, not only that, but a lack of hydration also results to a quicker onset, meaning a quicker result of muscle fatigue, meaning you'll literally tire out quicker than you would if you are actually hydrated, all right? So it's important you'll hit that wall sooner than you would like if you're not hydrated, all right? Another thing when you're dehydrated, all right, it does impair decision makings and impairs your concentration, even mood swings, all right, and compromising your performance strategy, or not just even that, it just compromises your way of thinking whenever you're dehydrated. Also, another thing on that as well, when we're dehydrated, most of the times it sends false signals to this brain of ours that we're hungry. No, you might be thirsty. So anytime you think about you're hungry and you just got done eating, why don't you take your glass of water first and see if you're still hungry. If all else fails, grab an apple. That's another mind trick right there, right? Another thing, looking back to referring to my notes, keeping in mind, all right, without the adequate amount of fluids, your body, that cooling system can fail, which means what, fam? If you're not properly hydrated, cooling system, our body can overheat, all right, from that dehydration, which can lead to heat exhaustion and even heat stroke. We don't want that, fam, not at all whatsoever. Now, here are the benefits to you being hydrated. When we are very well hydrated, fam, you got to remember that our muscles at this point now, they're going to be a lot more elastic and less prone to injury, all right? The water acts as a lubricant for the joints in your body, and it keeps those muscles contracting nice and smooth. So what this means, it translates to a better strength, power, and endurance in your workouts. We use all three here at Fit Body Boot Camp, all right? Also, staying hydrated regulates your body temperature. During the exercise, yes, we dissipate the sweat through the heat, but if you're real hydrated, you know, you're going to kind of cool down and get a lot of perform longer. Yes, there'll be a lot of sweat everywhere, but you know what? You have the hydration, the fluid levels to maintain that level of performance. All right. Now, water, okay, is going to be the medium through which the nutrients and the oxygens are transported, okay, where they need to go, including your muscles. This is important and very vital to sustain performance. So again, if we want to continue to push through the boot camp session there, we need to be hydrated beforehand, not during, all right? So okay to sip on during, but you really want to make sure you're already pre-hydrated. Now, last but not least, even a mild dehydration fam can impair your cognitive levels, including memory, focus, decision-making, which are all critical skills in every single thing we do in each and every single day of our lives. Not only that, all right, but just notice that dehydration levels can really hinder our performance, can really affect how we want to perform in boot camp. Not just in boot camp, but out in life. You saw that list, right, or heard the list. Your line of thinking, decision making. If you got to make decisions on the fly out work really fast, you're not going to be as efficient. If you got to make that big head call at your company, wherever it may be, you can't make that call. Not with a clear mind, okay? Make sure we're hydrated, okay? Our bodies are compiled and composed of mainly water cells, fat cells, water is how we replace it. But nonetheless, we need to be hydrated, fam. Even during this winter time at times, or when it's warmer, you're easier to remember. But even with the colder temperatures, we must remind ourselves we need to stay hydrated. And I'll give you a little tad bit, a little nice good tip on water consumption, fam. It takes up to 20 minutes, all right, to process. 16 ounces of water if you are drinking and chugging more than 16 ounces of water and under 20 minutes that's why you're wish washing and that's why you feel bloated with that water so keep it in mind there fam hope this trainer tip tuesday helps you out to kind of give you that reminder let's stay hydrated drink that water fam all right have a good one